Welcome to Saint-Omer, gateway to the hills of Artois and Flanders in the heart of northern Europe. A country of art and history, the bastion of Catholicism in the 16th and 17th centuries. The ruins of Saint-Bertin Abbey are witness to its rich past, as is the majestic Cathedral of Our Lady, still in remarkable condition. This Gothic masterpiece has dominated the region for over 800 years. Within it, true masterpieces like this mysterious clock, or the organ case, famous among organists worldwide. A celebrated painting by Flemish master Rubens also adorns its walls. The religious imprint on town planning does not stop at this building. All around, an area of knowledge has emerged. An English Jesuit college was established here at the end of the 16th century. This is the facade. Behind its walls, students received a Catholic education, which was banned on the other side of the channel. Saint-Omer and England, a special bond, a common history that's continued in an amazing discovery, hailed by the media worldwide. Shakespeare enthusiasts around the world are thrilled by the recent discovery of a very extremely rare first folio. Among these ancient works, which are the treasures of the library of the town, is one of the most valuable books in the world. Traditionally called First Folio, the first edition of the collected works of Shakespeare, published in 1623. Today, only 200 copies of this gem survive. Trying to identify precisely the, the, the edition, uh, we use several uh, tools, uh, catalogues, etc., to compare with the authenticated exemplary, and uh, rap rapidly we realized that it was probably a first folio. Uh, Saint Omer has a very uh, strong connection with England since the High Middle Ages, so um, having one of the most well known authors in our collection, English authors, of course, is not that surprising. It's a huge and exciting find. It has been rediscovered while we were looking for materials to prepare an exhibition on the links between Saint-Omer and the UK. We couldn't expect such a marvelous treasure inside here. And Saint-Omer is very proud that uh, we protected uh, part of the legacy of uh, Shakespeare during those years, and now we've prepared to share it with the world. This discovery further enhances Saint-Omer's reputation as a cultural hub of Northern Europe. This mansion, which houses 3,000 works of the Sandelin Museum, and the city's Italian theatre soon to reopen, are also examples. Surrounding Saint-Omer, there are also 700 kilometres of waterways directly accessible from the Maison du Marais in the city centre. 3,700 hectares recognised by UNESCO, where multiple species of plants and birds are to be found a major attraction for the tens of thousands of visitors who come here each year. Visitors who can also delve into the history of the Second World War. From here, the Nazis planned to send their V2 rockets to rain down on London, but the Allied invasion prevented them. La Coupole History and Remembrance Centre is now a museum focused on the future. The centenary of the start of the First World War is an opportunity to remember the strong British presence here during the conflict. In May, exhibitions are set to highlight the close ties between the two countries. Saint-Omer, with its landscape, its history, its people, welcomes you throughout the year.